I am the marketing manager here at Curl Up and Die Salon. We have members here, Mindy, Sina, Povilis, Jamin, and Amber. So here are the key terms, but I'm going to be highlighting three important key terms that I think will be important in the rest of the presentation. And the first one is planned change. Change activities that are intentional and goal-oriented. The next one is organizational development, a collection of planned change interventions built on humanistic democratic values that seeks to improve organizational effectiveness and employee well-being. And the last one is challenge stressors, stressors associated with workload, pressure to complete tasks, and time urgency. Curl Up and Die is a beauty salon located in the heart of Soho. We are consisted of 20 amazing members that are professional and very caring. We are ranked top on Yelp for our best beauty salon in Manhattan. And we are very proud because we have been consistent with our quality of service and the variety of service. So we do permanent makeup, um, regular makeup like weddings or anything for any event. We also do lash lifts, haircuts, um, any type of hair coloring services, and um, we really can do anything that you also request if we can, we have the talent for it or the service members that can do it for you. And um, since we have such a loyal base members, we try to make it as convenient as possible for any members who want to make an appointment. You can make an appointment in person, through the phone or online through lifebooker.com. Hello, my name is Amber and I am the salon coordinator. To begin, I'm going to be discussing the problems in our company. Our team is acting as change agents who recognize the problems in our company and plan to take action. Some of the problems in our company are as follows. So the first thing we notice is the scheduling with our appointments. So we always try our best to cater to everyone and to everyone's needs, but of course not every client needs the same thing. Sometimes we do receive clients who need more attention and more time. So because of this, it causes an overlap in the next appointments that follow. So because of this, it's really important that we have some kind of system that can help us better organize our timing and scheduling so it can cater for everybody's needs as well. So the second issue that we also discovered is, as mentioned, every client has different needs and wants and also scheduling. So it has become really difficult to cater to everyone, especially multiple clients at the same time. Our reception has actually become really overwhelmed because there's an imbalance when servicing in-house and out-house clients. Our third issue is that our team has also become aware that our inventory is not matching what we are spending. So we either have too much or too little supply for the salon. So of course, spending is going to be a really big a problem for any kind of business because that's our money. So we need to make sure that we're spending the right, the right amount of money on the products that we actually need and not products that we already have. So we want to make sure that all our clients and also our stylists are receiving the products that they're going to be using and also selling and giving to our clients. organizational development here at Curl Up and Dye Salon. And today we're going to talk about artificial intelligence and how we would like to incorporate it to improve the customer service and organizational spending at our salon. So what is AI? The fathers of the field, Minsky and McCarthy, would say that it is any task performed by a machine that if we're Formed by a human, it would involve the application of intelligence. Um, two examples of AI are narrow AI, which in, is essentially a type of artificial intelligence that is designed to perform a specific task that develops and learns over time. This would be your Alexas and your series. Whereas broad AI is a much more advanced type of AI, um, perhaps more like a robot. And this is something that isn't given a specific function. It's essentially learning about every way, shape, and way of life and almost to replicate human existence. These are commonly seen in the film industry. So today 
two innovative approaches that we've decided to take with integrating AI into Corolla and Dye Salon is by implementing a smart booking system as well as a start smart stock room. Barbarella is more than just an automated appointment confirmation system that we we're receiving with lifebooker.com. Whereas clients are just receiving a text message to confirm their appointment, our clients will be able to call the salon, speak with Barbarella, and make their appointments, and she will be able to book based upon the behaviors of their previous appointments, as well as the availability and abilities of the stylist. Now, initially, there will be a software interview with our stylist where they're able to sit in with the program and customize their workload and their work schedule, which she will, over time as she learns their behaviors, be able to customize. <clears throat> Additionally, and as we all know, customers have different needs. So not everyone who's booking a haircut needs an hour. 15 minutes. Some hair textures require more time. Some people need a lot more time with microblading on their eyebrows than others. So eventually, as more appointments are booked and more appointments are booked with specific customers and spe with specific stylists, the software will be able to eliminate the human error that has been happening at the front desk due to the stressors in the salon environment. <clears throat> in addition to Barbarella, we will be implementing a smart stock room. In addition to Barbarella software, we, look, we aim to create a smart stock room. We have partnered with the company Inventory Smart Software to help track our, to track our products as they come in and as they go out with automated ordering. <clears throat> We will have RFID or smart tag shelving in the stock room, which will help with loss prevention and will help reduce the amount of stock shortages and overages that we have. And it will be Bar uh, Barbarella compatible. Whenever a client books an appointment, she will be able to access their service history and make sure that we have the products, whether it be shampoo or hair color lines available needed for when she comes in for her appointment. My name is Tony. I'm the Human Resource Director of Curl and Dye, and I'll be presenting the solutions to our problems when integrating AI in our company. Um, so, one of the forces for change is technology. Technology, technology is continually changing jobs and organizations. It has important effects on business operations and it has both um, tangible and intangible benefits that will help organization make money and produce the results the customers demand. Our goal for our company is to streamline appointment scheduling and reduce spending. So there are two solutions to our problems when integrating AI. The first one is that AI can tackle booking confirming, rescheduling, and the answering of basic questions, saving the front desk time and the salon's uh, money and preventing the scheduling errors so that the business can focus on enriching uh, the experience of the clients who are in the salon. After initial integration period, the use of an AI booking system will also allow appointments to be scheduled based on combination of stylist work styles and customer history. Since the stylists are um, able to input special client information, for example, color formulas, so the assistants can prepare for the appointment ahead of time with ease. With each new service, the client will have a more streamlined experience. AI allows the system to learn more about the salon's client base and go further with booking appointments. This will not only increase the uh, satisfaction of clients and retention, but also new client referrals. The second solution when integrate AI is that it's small, smart stock room that takes regular inventory of products and supplies will eliminate overspending and product waste. Additionally, it will result in a more organized stock room that's result 
thus resulting in time waste searching for products and supplies. Employees will, will be able to focus on what's more important, which is the client. Hi everyone, my name is Sina Boyce. I am the Chief Strategy Officer and I am presenting to you today, should our company use a workforce of people and AI? Involving AI with our company allows us to stay connected with today's world. Every day the beauty industry is changing and expanding more on the uses of technology. Our company has always been a learning organization that has adapted to learning new technology. Having people and AI working together will improve customer experience. Improving customer experience allows for better customer satisfaction, which produce more repeat customers and more referrals, allows for more time spent on customers' requests than on scheduling an appointment. Because the customers has the access to our appointment slots through our app. Increasing sales and reducing spending. Having AI allows us to trust in the technology that can keep accurate information on our customers such as birthdays, anniversaries, and etc. Which helps us to promote our company by sending out automatic emails or type letters that are signed by us and requests to our customers, creating more of a personal touch. AI can also help to promote our products through a subscription. And lastly, help manage stress. AI helps to manage stress by completing a lot of tasks that can be completed by our employees, but gives them more time to focus on their clients. It also helps to reduce human error by not overbooking clients. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Povilis Bella and I am the Chief Financial Officer for Curl Up and Die. I will be taking you into our growth strategy today using AI. Uh, so it's pretty easy to see AI in the general world today. It's taking over everything from car sharing to mortgages. We're going to be introducing this to the salon business, which desperately needs it. Um, by using AI service, we will be able to attract and retain more loyal clients because they'll be so enthralled with their experience that they'll be coming back for more every time. Um, our inventory will also be kept using AI, which means we will never run out of product to sell and our product will never go bad on the shelves, knowing the past due dates and all that. For the second part, I'll take you through the triple bottom line that we're trying to accomplish. Um, it's basically profit, planet, and people, and we would like to leave a positive impact on all three. Um, for the social aspect, we're going to create obviously a better experience for the client um, so they're going to be able to come in and out whenever they feel like. Um, for the environmental, by minimizing our waste in the inventory that we keep, uh, it's going to help make the earth a cleaner, better place because we're not going to have to waste product. And for the financial, we'll be using AI to increase our bottom line, meaning we won't have double booked appointments and we'll have everything set up in a timely fashion to where the business is running perfectly. Thank you so much for listening to our presentation. We hope that our explanation of AI in the salon business was clear. Uh, we hope you come back for more.